We all know that you should spend a significant amount of time working on uh, maximising the value that you get from your existing clients as well as working on bringing new business uh, in, into your business and finding new clients but just because we know it very few of us actually do it and, and do it as well as um, we could do. So I did some research and I've got loads of stats to share with you because I love stats. Um, many of us know that it costs five times more to acquire Are you smiling at your photo there Martin? That's Martin everybody. <laughs> uh, five times more to acquire a new customer than it does to uh, keep a new one because of obviously all the advertising, the marketing, the time that goes into tendering and uh, meeting new prospects and winning new business. It's far cheaper to keep clients than it is to find new ones. And one of the quotes I read, which I probably should have referenced, uh, the first rule of any business is to retain customers and build a loyal relationship with them and thereby avoid customer acquisition costs. So those customers that we work so, so, so hard to get in the door in the first place and so often we're guilty of instantly thinking about who's the next customer we can go and win rather than actually taking the time to make sure that they're fully um, onboarded into our business and that we're working out what the needs of that client are and how we can best serve them because that works both ways. They stay, they buy more, they refer um, and it's about making sure that we absolutely maximise the value that we can give them and the value that they can give you before you move on to the next one. So 40% of companies um, apparently spend an equal amount of time on attracting new customers as they do uh, retaining the customers that they've got. 44%, there's a, there's, a, there's a trick in here for the accountants in the room, because 44% um, focus more time on acquisition than they do on retention, and apparently 18%, if any of you have not got it, 40 plus 44 plus 18 is definitely 102%. Um, only 18% focus more time on retention. There's obviously a rounding issue there somewhere, but I thought it'd be funny to leave it in anyway. Uh, uh, only 18% of businesses um, put more focus into retaining their customers uh, than they do acquiring new customers. 89% uh, of customers see customer experience as a key factor in driving customer loyalty and retention. So we all know it's important. Uh, the probability of selling to an existing customer is 60 to 70 percent while the probability of selling to a new prospect is between 5 and 20 percent. Uh, existing customers are 50 percent more likely to try new products and services that we launch because you've already built trust and they spend 31 percent more what, compared to new customers. Um, increase in the customer retention rates by 5% apparently increases profits by 25 to 95%. And this all comes back to that concept that, um, as I said at the start, the only way that we can give our clients more value is if we are successful in selling to them. To continue to give more and more value for free is a really bad idea <laughs> and you won't be in business for very long. You certainly won't run a successful business. So in order to truly maximize the value that we can give to our clients, we have to be okay with the idea that we're going to have to sell to them in the first place because otherwise we can't open the door into their business to truly be able to um, give the value and utilize the skills and resources that we've got, that you've got within your agency to, to best impact your clients. So, um, as I said, the Facebook group is, is very much a free, no strings attached, attached not even marketing to you um, group. And we want to build these resources over time that are able to just help make a difference into your agency as much as we possibly can. There's a tool that we've been using uh, for a number of our clients. Uh, this is our revenue forecasting tool. Who uses this? Because you've got it from that. John, I know you do, Guy, you do, uh, David, you might do. Um, this, so the difference between sales and revenue is a sale is a contract that you make. You know, you might, we signed up a 50K contract with a client today, but that revenue that's derived from that contract might take one month, six months, 12 months to arrive 
within your business. And what we find is that whilst there's a lot of focus sometimes on sales in a business and managing pipeline, there's not necessarily enough thought as to how much revenue do we need to bring in and when in order to deliver the financial returns that we need within our business. So what we help our clients to do is to actually focus on well, how much profit do we want to make next year, this year, the next three years, and then what are the running costs of the business going to be, and therefore we can work out what revenue we need to bring in and the timing of that, of, of that revenue uh, over the year. And then at that point, it's all focus on hitting those revenue targets. And this tool that we've built is, is designed to help you to do that. So we work out the target revenue and we know how that looks across the year. So from this business, it's three million pound. And then we're looking at how our actual revenue that we know we've converted. So again, if we've signed a 100K contract and that's uh, 8,333 a month, then the amount that actually falls in this year would make up the, the actual number. And then we've got this pipeline number so we can say, well, actually, if we look at the pipeline as well, how close are we to hitting our target revenue? And this really is about getting everyone focused on financial goals, not just sales goals, because as this has come from your financial budget, you're actually working on numbers that are gonna give you the financial return that you want by the end of the year. And it's also about getting everyone switched onto that number within your business and the importance of that number. And if you're clever with this, you can start to set pay rises, you can start to set profit schemes uh, based on the numbers that you're, you're setting in here because then everybody wins, uh, individuals and the business. <coughs> Then some agencies, you know, you've got multiple teams, you might have pods, you might have departments, you might have different services, so you can break that down. And then there are lots of workings that go across, across in the bottom that all feed into this. So this is where you would track your um, existing client pipeline. You will have something much more fancy than our Google Sheet because you'll have a pipe drive or you'll have a Zoho or a capsule or a HubSpot or an Infusionsoft where you manage your pipeline. But what we're suggesting is that for any of those contracts that you've got in this pipeline over here, you're then actually laying out what that looks like in terms of revenue over here. So we can see how the revenue filters down into your business across the financial year. And yes, it's a bit of duplication, but the idea of just typing in a number and dragging it across on a spreadsheet doesn't take forever. And this information is really important for your business. So, that will tell you uh, about your um, new business. And we then start to uh, break that down by um, department. So we can see uh, that by department, teams, whatever you want to call it. And then we have a tab for each team as well. So you could lock these tabs so that only team A can see this information. Maybe you don't want them to see all the other information for other teams or other clients or you don't need to see the high level business stuff, but you can have a tab per team. And then if you keep going across some of our clients where, you know, these could be significant values within each of these clients. You could be talking um, hundreds of thousands of pounds contracts, hundreds of thousands of pounds clients to have an actual tag, tab that's focused on a client and focused on all the services that you deliver along the left, the months across the right. And this is about saying, what have we identified this client can buy from us throughout the year? So you're getting this really uh, deep focus on a client by client basis, which ultimately drives the top level numbers in your business that you've worked out you want in order to give you the, the financial results that you've got, that, that you want. Um, this can be tailored how you want. Obviously the services would match your services. Uh, the clients and teams would, would match yours, uh, but this just gets everybody focused on one common goal, which is to drive that overall number and just a really nice way to, uh, to present that information to yourself and to your teams. So that's um, gonna be dropped into uh, the Facebook group tomorrow, I think. It's not already gone in, has it? That's, that'll go in tomorrow, yeah. Uh, and you've all got um, access to that. Is that useful? Any questions on that? Appreciates a lot of information to see very quickly. Um, so, going to hand over to Dell. As I say, we work hard to find um, good guest speakers and uh, I think a couple of you actually uh, suggested that we bring Dell in because we wanted somebody that's um, 
been there and done it within agencies. It's all right, me standing up here and telling you how important it is to hit your numbers and maximise the revenue from your clients, but you've actually got to go and do it as well. Uh, and Dale's been there and done it, and she's helped a number of uh, people running agencies to, to, to do the same. This is about maximising the lifetime value out of your customers. Um, she's worked in big agencies, she's worked in small agencies, she's advised big agencies, she's advised small agencies, she's worked with blue chip companies, so she's, she's got a, a really good track record and uh, I think you're all going to enjoy uh, hearing from her for a little while. We're then going to have uh, a very quick break because we've been told in no uncertain terms that whether we bank with Yorkshire Bank or not, we're out of here by quarter to eight. Um, so we're going to keep things moving quite quickly. If anybody would like a drink, just nudge one of our team, hands up team, and we'll fuel you with whatever it is you'd like to drink. Um, in that second half, it's going to be about you and your business. You're going to be talking to the people around the table about how you can apply some of the stuff that Dell's going to talk about, or the stuff that I've talked about within your business. So just be thinking about what questions you want to ask of people around your table uh, whilst you've got some bright uh, people here to, to help you and to help your business before we finish the night. Um, over to you, Dell.